Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm finally bringing you guys the best of cream blush video and all of my favorites. So I'm really excited about today's video. If you guys are new to my channel, I actually did an entire one week of cream blush, which was I did a new cream blush review every single day for an entire week. And so I was able to try out so many just from that series itself. But in general, I've been doing a ton of cream blush reviews on my channel, period. So I've been really excited about doing this video and finally rounding up all of my favorite cream blushes. So in general, cream blushes are really the product for me of 2019. Like, cream blushes really have been exciting me. I think the formulas, when you do them right, really can brighten up the skin unlike any other product. So for me, for example, I am super hungover right now. I feel like when you apply blush in a way that is really strategic and you get the color just right, like if you're hungover like I am right now, you might not be able to tell. It really brightens up the face in a way, again, I feel like some other products really can't do. So today we're going to be talking about quite a few cream blushes. This was really hard for me to actually narrow it down. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and and of course, I hope you'll subscribe and I will actually leave my one week of cream blush playlist linked down below. I have done full entire demo swatches reviews on a lot of these products. So all of those videos I'll leave linked down below. So let's just start off with what's on my cheeks today. And I actually have a mix. Um, what is concentrated more towards like my cheekbone area is the Glossier Cloud Paint. And I used the shade Dusk. Now Dusk is my absolute favorite cloud paint shade. It's definitely a more browny blush shade, which I think is really, really pretty to kind of give you a soft bronzer blush contour. In general, the color is very unique. I was actually talking to my friend Lily about this and how just the shade is so spot on, but the formula of the cloud paints themselves are so beautiful. And I've talked about this before. The best way I can describe them is they're a really pigmented like foundation consistency. They won't drip off your hand, so they're easy to work with. But also, I just feel like they blend into other cream products so effortlessly and very beautifully. More pigmented, so they last a really long time on your skin. I think if you have more oily skin and you haven't been able to find a cream blush that will last, I think this one definitely will. So I have all of the shades, but I always go back to Dusk. Dusk is absolutely my favorite. I am a Glossier rep, so if you guys do decide to purchase them, I will leave my link down below. If you don't want to spend the money on the Glossier Cloud Paints, I actually did a comparison between the Glossier Cloud Paints and the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. These are not dupes. Spoiler alert to that video, they're not dupes, but this is a really, really gorgeous blush, and this is why it's in my favorite. Flower Beauty Blush Bombs have such a unique formula, in my opinion. They are very, very dewy, um, but they have a silkiness to them. They're blendable, but they're not so slippy, and they have that a gorgeous, gorgeous gleam to them without it ever feeling greasy. If you really want some really glassy, pretty dewy cheeks. You really can't go wrong with these. I've only tried the shade Pinched, but I'm telling you, these are such an affordable find. They'll give you a very healthy skin effect that I think a lot of you will really enjoy. Now, what I'm wearing just here on my cheeks and then on my nose is actually Sunset Sky from M Cosmetics. These are M Cosmetics new serum blushes, and I love these so, so much. I actually took Sunset Sky with me to visit my sister and she just went out and bought it herself because I was using it on her to give a very realistic sunburn cheek look. And this to me is like, it's the perfect product to do that. Um, but aside from this color, I have all of the colors and there really isn't one that I don't like. I think that's really rare to come out with a line of blushes and every single color I like because I'm super finicky with colors and blushes. But what is really unique about this product is the formula. The formula is incredibly, incredibly thin and it has a really 
silky, easy to blend texture. And it's obviously super, super dewy. But on the skin, they're pigmented enough that they're going to last long. It gives the cheeks a really beautiful look. To me, it is very healthy. But this is such a thin product. But as a whole, like if I'm being honest, like about the one blush that I am completely head over heels in love with right now it's these serum blushes from m cosmetics again i like that they have the staying power of a more pigmented blush but the formula is so lightweight and dewy and pretty let's jump into another really affordable blush actually i'm surprised with how many blushes in here are more on the affordable side this is the ColourPop blush stick so i actually also tried another shade of this that i wasn't as in love with but this specific shade i cannot recommend enough it's called roosevelt and the formula on here to me is almost i feel like almost a dupe for the nude sticks nudies matte formula is very creamy but it goes down a little bit more on the matte side. It's not as matte as those, but I love the pigment. It's a very even coverage while also being super blendable and pretty. I love the packaging. It's very weighted and it feels substantial, but in general, I just think that this formula is very smooth and there's something really blendable about it. This is also one that lasts a pretty decent amount of time on my skin, which is again, always appreciated. But yeah, as a whole, I just think there's something very silky, even really just pretty in general about this one. And that's why I had to include it. Shade is also really, really on point. It reminds me of a little bit more of a warm dusk shade. This reminds me of a mix between a blush and bronzer shade, but more on the warm side. It really is a gorgeous color. Let's say that you really want to dabble into cream blushes, but you need one that's kind of foolproof. You, you don't want to take a lot of time to put on the cream blush. It needs to work with powders. It needs to be pigmented and long wearing. This one is part of my French. It's fucking fantastic. So the Honest Beauty Cream Blushes. I now have three shades. I think you guys can tell just from the amount I have that I really, really love them. In specific, Coral Peach to me is amazing. It gives you that really perfect coral sunburnt look to my cheeks that I absolutely love. This was the only blush I wore throughout my vacation to Chicago. Lasts through pretty much anything. The longevity on this product is beautiful. One thing that I think is so amazing about this product is it has quite a bit of pigment, but if you just dab your brush in to the product and you just dab it onto the cheeks very quickly, it's really hard to go wrong with this one. I do think that the pigment is what will make this product last, but also the texture is very unique to me. You know, you feel it in your fingers, and I mentioned this in my full review, you feel it in your fingers and you don't think that it's really anything special, but it goes down to a more natural looking powder finish. And it's not truly like cream to powder whatsoever, but it definitely sets down. And something about the formula, I can completely powder my entire face or use, you know, a powder highlight or a more matte finish foundation. And it never clings to any other texture. It doesn't cling onto the cheeks whatsoever. To me, if you want the most versatile blush product out of all of these, I think it's absolutely the Honest Beauty Cream Blushes. And lastly, we have the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek product in work specifically, but I would love to try other shades of this one. The Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer and the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek product. First of all, you get an entire ounce with this and that's a fucking phenomenal deal. An entire ounce of product, this ends up being like more cost effective than a lot of drugstore cream blush products. But there's just something so pretty about this one. It gives you a very dewy look to your cheeks and it always applies very evenly and prettily onto the cheeks. So it gives you that really dewy look, but it's not going to pick up any foundation. It always looks very even and the 
pigmentation is more on the light to medium side so it's really really easy to work with if i'm consistently going back to a product because i can always depend on it looking good and it being very very easy to apply this is definitely one of those products and i know that it's a product that i really really enjoy when i can do that so i feel like something like the honest beauty is really great because it's so versatile and it always looks good no matter what products you use with it but this to me i think is even more easy to apply just because there's a little bit less pigment and it has a little bit more of that dewiness that I think if you have at least dry skin, it's really nice to have a little bit of that um, shine and gleam to your skin. So I, I really, really enjoy this one and I hope that Milk Makeup comes out with other shades of this because I really think they can be doing more with their shade range currently. So if you guys thought this video was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and that way I know. And of course, if you like me, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd love for you to subscribe and definitely feel free to check out all of my other videos mentioned down below in my description box. I hope you guys are having a good one and I'll hopefully see you in my next video.